y'all welcome back sorry that last video was short but i had some overtime to work and uh kind of got in the way of going out to the shop and being productive but it's monday the 4th so uh the rear end's done at the powder coater being sandblasted i'm gonna go pick that up right now um just got my hair did i'm gonna go put some e85 in my truck because gas in California is like six dollars a gallon for premium and we'll find out what e85 is but thankfully we can do both in the old f-150 so we'll get some gas go pick up the rear end and then hopefully in this video i'll get the floor patched and get the subframes welded in and the front box is welded in and then hopefully the brace and all that shows up from team z and we can get that rear end over to kelly and get him going on that and then when that's done we will order axles i got the gears and the spool is all here and i got a bearing kit and all that stuff for the rear end so um once i've got the axles then that whole thing can go back together and it can, can be a final piece. I still have to mock up the NI roll bar and the shock placement. So Tony brought over some shocks that I'm gonna use to mock up. And I still need to uh, mock the uh, NI roll bar up. So hopefully in this video I get the floor done, subframe connectors in, all the stuff welded up, um, and maybe even the NI roll bar all mocked up and in, so. Uh, here we go. As you can see, 629, 615, 595 here in California. Diesels, 639, E85, 399.9. Topped off the old truck at 97.94. Well, that saved us 55 bucks to fill this pig up. Uh, yeah, E85, you burn it a little quicker, but shoot, $2.30 a gallon cheaper. It's a no brainer. All right, we're back from powder coater, picked up the rain and the inner wheelhouses. It looked pretty good. Obviously we'll take it back when uh, Kelly's done with it and have it powdered. And these came out awesome. They got all the, Nasty crap that was in there. This, uh, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if I can because the wheels are in here. But that, I don't know what that is, if that's factory or what, but that shit's heavy and gross. So for the time being, I'm gonna finish up welding these front uh, parts of these subframes up. I won't weld them in the car yet, but I wanna get the rest of the front stuff mocked up and all that done. Uh, then we'll work our way back. Oh, and before I forget, this is the box with the gears and oil. Won't, won't need this, but this is good to put in your T5. It helps with your shifts. Like this is the bearings. Yeah, bearings and all that. Bearing seals. And then gears. Went with the old 373. Uh, I'm not gonna pull them out, but those are the gears. So we got everything except for the brace. Um, we've got the ends. They're the strange ones. That's the part number. And then also went with the strange spool. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this already or not. But if you've seen one of these, you've seen them all. Just the strange. 8-8 spool, 35 spine axle. So that leaves us with everything except for axles and uh, obviously TVM brakes. Uh, but that'll that'll be probably after I get the cage done. 
I'll purchase that stuff. But get going on this other stuff. four of those are these brackets I'm gonna show you what the setup is going to be all right so I will TIG weld this piece um, down here and to this piece of chrome ollie here we'll have one on both sides obviously it's still gonna get welded all the way around on the top I'll TIG weld all this stuff on the bench I think I'm gonna dimple dye this too, just to make this even stouter. And then I'll probably mid weld this sucker in just because of the galvanizing. But I've got four of those brackets made. Getting ready to go into work. I'm gonna go shower and stuff, but I've got another bracket made for here. And then I've just gotta fit the other one for the other side. And then we'll dimple dye them. dimple dyed these probably should have used a smaller dimple die but that's all right uh, made this piece pretty rigid but I was going to where the hole was at weld to the frame and it's just a little bit big so let me show you all right so on this plate in its spot which is about hard to do and hold the camera when it's in its spot blah 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 um, I can still weld that little itty bitty area or I could have moved it up, but uh, it's all right. It'll be stout enough, but I'll get these all tacked in and then get them over to the bench and burn them all in. front I guess you would call it boxes for these uh, cell frame connectors got all those welded out still learning with the old TIG welder but it looks fairly decent uh, it ain't gonna go anywhere that's for certain so here's what we got got them welded out and then our next thing tomorrow We'll come out here and probably burn in these spring boxes or these front perches, whatever you want to call them. And we need to get fixing this floor here. So I think I'm going to just maybe come over here and see how bad it is and then cut and we'll do something. We'll get it. We're not a rusty POS anymore, but you can see they've 
a lot of patching. I uh, can't really see over here because of the grease, but when I was vacuuming up top, they've put little patches in over here. And I'm probably gonna weld all that together. Same over here. I'll get all this welded up. This will all have to be migged, I think. That just looks like crap. I may take the grinder and grind some of that flat. So be done a repair and welder wasn't hot enough, apparently. But then once we get that floor fixed, uh, then we'll get the we'll get these subframe connectors in. Uh, the boxes will be burnt in. We'll get the subframe connectors in. Then we can come up here and start messing with this tunnel so that we can get that T56 in here. All right, it's tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna wheel the uh, TIG welder over here and I'm gonna attempt to TIG weld this freaking uh, box, front leaf spring box. Man, I don't know, it's just a big gap right there. I'm gonna try it, see what happens and uh, if it's sputtering and getting nasty then We'll get out the MIG and just burn through that. We'll get those front boxes burnt in and then we're gonna go up top and start messing with the, uh, the rusted out floor. Well, TIG ain't gonna work. I, I can't get the torch in half. Well, I can get it like in the front, but I'm just gonna do it with the MIG. Screw it. All right, it's as good as it's gonna get until we uh, get the subframes in. Could not get up here. But by the time the subframe's in here and I got my bracket over here, ain't going nowhere. Now we'll try to adjust this issue here. So I think I'm gonna take the thing that's on the inside of the car out, try to un uh, tack weld it from the inside. And then we'll start cutting this sheet metal out here. All right, got that out. I, let me show you why this is such a problem, at least in this car, because I think it sat outside or the windows leaked really bad. Now, the reason it's a problem is because that's like a little pocket in there. If you look on this side, I had to vacuum this out, but see that little pocket? You know, and then once water gets in here, it just sits and it rots. And that's why we got that problem right there, so. Uh, over here, it's strong, and I beat it pretty hard with a hammer. You can see it's through in a few little pieces here, but I may just focus. You can see there's a little hole, but I may just focus like right there. All right, as you can see, all this is still good. It's got a little rumple, but that's fine. There's, it's good. So here, I'm probably going to just meet this. I'll cut over about 3 16 7 inch. I'll leave a little gap that I can weld. And I think I'm just going to come straight across. And then up. And then right here. And then I'll try to recopy it on the bench first. And then we'll get it up here and get it welded in. But that's why I want to get this car sandblasted. So that any other areas that I ain't found yet, I'll find and we can fix. Not a Barrett Jackson car, but still I want a nice solid car. I'm put a lot of miles on this sucker. So I'm gonna get this cut out and figure out how I'm gonna bend this little corner here.
right, I got my basic shape. Now it ain't pretty, but it's close enough for government work and it ain't going to the moon. Now this corner here, I'm having a little bit of trouble with, but what I'm gonna do is get this piece tacked all into the car. Then uh, I'll screw with this and get it tacked into the right place. So I'm gonna go clean the edges up in the car and we'll get this tacked in. sucker down a little bit try to get as close as possible take a little off this sucker actually it might be easier just to do that Tacking this sucker and working it in there. Get the weather fired up. situation. The only thing I didn't do in this little replacement panel is this uh, little depression for water.
guys that patch panels in uh, it ain't perfect but it's gonna be hidden and some of you are gonna comment why'd you just keep welding well again it's not a body panel it's a floor panel and this sucker is going over it um, I'll have to get this straightened back out and cleaned up like these little holes right here I don't care about the carpet's gonna go right over that no big deal but this is going over it you ain't never gonna see it now from the back side I'm gonna get the carp on the lift and I'm gonna hit this thing from the back side in a few areas just because this was left long I left it a little long uh, just because the bottom part of the floor kind of kind of weak I mean whatever they put on this was not rust preventative it just probably locked the rust in so I'll hit this sucker from the back then we'll kind of massage it out with the grinder and that'll be done for that panel and then we can go to getting the subframe connectors put in All right, we've welded um, everything we need to weld Need to weld underneath. Not really getting anywhere by going up on this top thing, but I'll grind this down so that it looks decent. And I may have to do another patch. If you can see, it's way thin right here. So I may have to uh, do something there, I mean, like drill a hole or do something. And but I've got this sucker all back tacked in, no more rot. Obviously, I will flapper wheel it and make it look decent. And then we'll put that other piece in and then onto the subframes. Hopefully, it is uh, Wednesday and try to get a video up for you, get this video up for you guys on Friday or late Thursday night, just depends. Um, but tomorrow, when I wake up, we will come out, get the rest of this buttoned up, get these subframe connectors in, and then hopefully this video will go up. All right, folks, it's... Uh, Thursday and I didn't charge my phone so I was letting it charge and then I knocked a few things out so I got the floor all welded up which I'll show you in a minute got it welded up put some steel it on it I've got these things all cleaned up and I've got the car I was gonna make those wood things like you see everybody else do for this process because I want the car to be on its weight when I put the subframes in. So um, I was gonna make those things and I just didn't have time. So all I've done is lower the car onto some jack stands um, from the lift and I'll get the subframes underneath there, wheel myself underneath there. I'll just tack, get them all tacked in with the, uh, the old MIG stick, MIG gun. Then I'll go back up with it and we'll burn them in. Um, I also made some plates. So I made some plates out of eighth inch, put some dimple dies in them, kind of lighten them up a little bit. And after I ta tack the subframes in and we get this thing back up, I'll show you where those are gonna go. Those are gonna go in the back, like I said, try and tie all that stuff in, in the back. Um, but I'm gonna wheel myself underneath there tack it and then we'll roll it up and I'll continue filming. All right, we're back up in the air. These are tacked and I'm gonna attempt to make these bad, or take these bad boys. I'm gonna drag it over here and try. Just to see and then if not we'll burn them in with the big but there's the floor panel all fixed up with some steel it um, and then these are just tacked in so i will uh the plate let me show you the plate this is hard to do in film but the plate will be something like this and we'll get better video of it but We'll catch all of this here and then we'll catch the bar. 
So that's the plate and it'll be plenty stout. All right, you guys, the subframes are in and the floor is fixed. I, there still needs to be some welding on these subframes because uh, there's some places that I just can't get with the TIG. I ain't good enough. <clears throat> and probably should have left myself a little more room to get the TIG torch in there, but I'll be able to buzz uh, it in with the MIG. <coughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, and there's another place that I'm gonna have to use the MIG as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, out here, I'm going to use the MIG because it's some crappy stuff. And that way I can catch both of these, all three of these pieces of metal with the MIG. Um, but these are the plates that tie in. Um, also need to make caps for back here. And then up here is all welded in except for this top part. I tried to take it and I just can't get in there. So I'm just gonna get the old MIG out and I'll burn just the tops. And then I was gonna use that little bracket that I have, but I just, I might make some other ones that come like that or something. Probably could have ran the tube further forward come to think of it, but um, they asked me what, how many feet I wanted cut when I picked up the stick of chromoly and I just told him four feet because I thought that was uh, gonna do it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is a long process with this car. I wish I could just bang stuff out a little quicker, but I'm still learning the TIG and um, you know, you can see on the time lapse, I'm dancing with the dang TIG torch and the foot pedal and hitting my head on underneath the car and all that, but the welds do look a whole lot better when you can TIG. I don't, I don't like using the MIG now at all. Um, but, you know, there's just sometimes you gotta use it. So that'll do it for this video, you guys. Uh, on the next one, I'll finish up the um, front pieces for these subframe connectors and we'll get going on the anti-roll bar. Um, I had to stop anyways right now because I'm out of argon. As you can see here, we are, we're down to like nothing. We're, we're done skis. So I appreciate everybody watching. Please uh, like, share, comment, uh, all that stuff uh, helps me out and helps out my homies like Matt that are selling these K members. They're, they're nice stuff. And uh, get, let's get these old Fords out on the road with some of the newer technology in them and Go make some more haters. Catch you on the next one.